In 2011, Abilene native Harrison Fraser had well over 300 starts on the PGA Tour without a win to his credit. And after battling injuries, Fraser was granted a medical exemption, giving him 11 starts to make over $600,000. But after missing five straight cuts, Harrison had come to grips with the fact that his golf career might be coming to an end. Oh, I never stopped. I had made my decision. I was ready to move on. I was at peace with it. And, uh, uh, you know, I wanted to play for the enjoyment of the game. I wanted to play to have that, that feeling of being nervous and being scared, you know, one more time. And uh, I just wanted to play for me and because I love the game instead of always worrying about, you know, what people are thinking or worried about the money. With only three events remaining on his major medical exemption in 2011, Harrison Frazier came to the Byron Nelson thinking it might be one of his final events as a professional player. But as fate would have it, this would be only the beginning of his journey over the next year. Well, the wind was howling. It was blowing 30 miles an hour out of the south every day, just like Abilene. It was uh, very familiar to me. I was comfortable. Uh, I knew that I didn't have to go shoot 65s to, to have a good week. But after a brutal U.S. Open Monday qualifier, Harrison strongly considered skipping the next PGA Tour event, the FedEx St. Jude Classic in Memphis. I was exhausted and I was spent, so my wife tried to convince me to stay home and rest and don't go. And uh, my caddy told me I was crazy. He said, you're hitting the ball too well, you're, you're playing well, you need to suck it up and you know, go get some Pedialyte and, and, and let's go. But after a rough start in Memphis, Harrison decided to let everything go and get back to treating golf like a game. Knowing where I was in my life, that I was going to walk away from the game, I just, instead of, you know, getting mad and getting angry, I just stopped. You know, just stopped the noise, stopped the craziness, and just played golf like I, like I was a kid again. I played from a deeper spot, and we stopped worrying about yardages, stopped worrying about, you know, wind direction and results and everything else, and we just played golf. And that strategy would certainly serve him well as he would go on to defeat Robert Carlson in the third playoff hole to get his first ever PGA Tour victory in over 350 tries. And Harrison Frazier. That's not necessary. It's all over. Frazier. And as for now, Harrison is just trying to enjoy the game that he loves once again. I'm trying to enjoy this game just a little bit more than I was the last few years. I'm trying to, you know, reconnect and recommit to my family and my kids and try to enjoy, no matter where I am, try to enjoy it. At the HP Byron Nelson Championship, Matt Roberts, BigCountryHomePage.com Sports.